Hello, uh, I go travel with uh, Don Barnett. I always wanted to be a snowbird and uh, I don't know how to be it. Uh, I'm in the wrong kind of country. Heading south, I'd like to do that where it's warm weather. You, you say I, I need sunglasses to be a snowbird. Well, we got sun here and I got sunglasses right there. What do you say? I got the wrong hat? Here, I'll show you a hat. I'm ready, I'm prepared. Right here, right here. That's, that's my uh, snowbird hat. Right there, sunglasses and all. I'm thinking of going to, down to Panama to like, take a look at that canal. Oh, what do you mean, I got the wrong hat? I got a Panama hat. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to fly south. That's a Panama hat. Probably one of the most famous hats, along with the Stetson, the sombrero. Famous hat. But you know what I heard? Somebody told me that the Panama hat is not a Panama hat. I don't know what they meant like by that. But I'm going to find out in this uh, uh, travelogue. And uh, the other thing is, uh, I want to go down and see that uh, big canal down there. I heard it took them 30 years to build it. And then I heard that uh, it uh, cost the lives of not hundreds of workers, but thousands. How could that be? How could that be? I tell you, I'm going to find out in this travelogue, along with some other things. I want to see those big ships moving through the canal. How do they get them through that narrow piece of uh, waterway, those great big ocean liners? It's one of the busiest canals in the world. Okay, I'm going to go find out. Come along. Let's head to, for Panama. I do hate to leave the bad weather, but we are on our way. Let's take a look at this uh, map. Uh, you'll recognize uh, the state of Florida, and this is the Gulf of Mexico in here. Uh, uh, Cuba is just down below uh, uh, Florida a little bit. Uh, over here is the Yucatan Peninsula of uh, Mexico, and we did uh, several uh, travelogues on uh, the Mayan uh, Riviera in this area. Uh, let's just work our way down through Central America. There's a lot of tourists uh, go to uh, the country called Belize, a lot of big turtles there. Then you come to Honduras and Nicaragua. You see the big lake here. There's a story there. They thought about building the canal uh, across the part of, of that lake from one end to the other. A little further, but a big lake and lots of water to help them. However, they uh, decided to uh, uh, go down into Panama. Uh, Panama's neighbor uh, to the uh, west is Costa Rica, big bird place uh, watching area for uh, tourists. And uh, Panama's other neighbor is, is in uh, South America, uh, you may not be able to read the reading here. I, I put these neighbors uh, in, in red, uh, Costa Rica on the one side, and uh, Colombia on this side. At one time, Panama was a province that belonged to Colombia. And again, there's another story there. We'll never get to these stories in uh, one travelogue. Uh, let's just look back at uh, Panama uh, uh, it's only, as it says, only 80 kilometers across that narrow strip of land where the canal is at. Uh, toward Colombia, to the west, uh, the, uh, or rather to the east, uh, the, uh, a tremendous wicked jungle in, in that area there. Uh, uh, I, I, it's, uh, it's just a, a terrible, terrible... Uh, kind of a, of a place with all kinds of snakes and insects and crocodiles and uh, uh, a, a lot of uh, uh, immigrant people are coming through this part of the area uh, fighting their way through the jungle many of them dying in the area to get into the Panama area and the rest of Central America as they make their way north uh, toward the United States and uh, okay let's just uh, go back and look. Oh, I wanted to say one more thing. I had a terrible time with directions in Panama. It should be north-south, right? Up and down in the map. 
However, the continents uh, twist sideways here in the middle part between the two continents. Look at Panama. It runs from left to right, which is east to west. North is uh, always up on the map, so to the left they kept talking about um, going west uh, to Costa Rica, and I thought they should be going north. And the same way, Colombia, to me, was south in South America. But if you're sitting in Panama, you're actually going east to get to Colombia. Okay, so that gives us an idea of where we're at. Uh, let's uh, look at uh, the canal that uh, was cut across this 80-kilometer strip of land. We had a first-class hotel uh, with a bird's-eye view from the balcony uh, looking out on the ships uh, as they uh, passed by the canal. Uh, this ship uh, here uh, was capable of carrying a load of 7,000 uh, automobiles at a time. Enjoy just watching the uh, ships uh, float by. Uh, the two greatest canals in the world uh, are the uh, Panama and uh, Egypt's uh, Suez Canal. Uh, how do they compare? The uh, Suez Canal is older, uh, built uh, back in 1869, uh, compared to the Panama's completion date of 1914. And the Suez, uh, uh, compared to the Panama's length of 80 kilometers, the Suez is almost 200 kilometers. But in terms of traffic and value, the Panama Canal far outweighs that of the Suez. The uh, Panama uh, uh, saves an 8,000-kilometer trip around uh, the uh, tip of South America, and its traffic and volume of freight far outstrips that of the Suez. Uh, one day we were lucky enough to watch an American submarine uh, go through the canal. Uh, by law, the uh, sailors all have to stand out uh, up on the top of the deck of the sub as it passes uh, through the canal. We also had a nice view of the Pan American Bridge uh, uh, from our balcony. Yeah. The Pan American Highway runs from Alaska uh, down south to the tip of Argentina in South America. The only place where they have been unable to build a road is in Panama through that a uh, wicked place I mentioned before, the Darien Gap, where the uh, jungle is uh, uh, so uh, uh, bad that they can't build a road there. And it's a place where disease and uh, poisonous uh, insects, alligators, big cats, and desperate refugees from across the world attempt, often with fatal consequences, to cross the, this most treacherous jungle in the world. The canal handles all kinds of ships, uh, like uh, private ships, uh, cruise ships, tankers, freighters, and submarines. The canal was uh, widened and deepened uh, from uh, the years 2007 to 2016 in order to handle these new uh, megaships. Uh, it is not uh, wide enough, however, to handle these uh, big military aircraft uh, carriers. There are several uh, locks that raise and lower ships between the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. Uh, Miraflores locks uh, have a nice tourist viewing platform. Uh, the platform accommodates uh, sightseers, and at times it can be crowded. Uh, these are the older uh, type of uh, swing gates, uh, similar uh, in many other canals. Uh, the gates here are double-gated for safety, in case one set of gates were to fail and the water come uh, smashing through. Uh, you can see here where the uh, gate is full of water and a ship is waiting for the gates at the far end to open uh, so the water can uh, go out. The gates have opened uh, and the water has drained out, uh, enabling the uh, uh, ship to float down to a lower level as it works its way uh, through the canal. The upgraded, expanded part of the canal 
have had larger, deeper gates built that do not swing, but uh, come out, uh, they come straight out at right angles to intercept the water. Uh, this photo shows only uh, the green tops of these uh, new, uh, very large hydraulic powered water gates. And the red arrows indicate the direction back and forth that these uh, new gates will slide back and forth to stop the water in the canal. Here the uh, gate is almost closed. And uh, now the gate uh, has come all the way across uh, the uh, canal. Once the gate has come all the way across, uh, uh, you can see here where in this picture the water has, then has built up behind the gate and uh, the uh, big ship is uh, uh, waiting uh, for the uh, gate uh, to open up and uh, so it can be lowered down to the lower level. Uh, this is a photograph of the same two uh, big uh, gates uh, before they were installed. Uh, they run about uh, 25 meters high and over uh, 2 meters uh, thick. They move those uh, ships through the canal in one of two ways, with uh, tugboats or mules. Mules? One of the ways that uh, ships uh, get through the canal is to be escorted by little tugboats at the front and back. And uh, they're always busy uh, uh, working uh, their way carefully uh, through the canal. And you see them at work all of the time. Ship uh, captains are not permitted to navigate their ships through the canal. They must step aside. Canal uh, employees uh, take boats uh, out to the ships and board them and do the piloting. Uh, a canal employee uh, better understands the rules, uh, uh, regulations, uh, procedures, and management of a ship involved in taking a ship through the narrow confines of the canal. The uh, flag of uh, Panama here uh, replaces the flag of the ship's uh, country of origin uh, when a canal employee pilot is at the ship's control. The other way uh, ships are guided uh, through the canal uh, in some places is by 240 uh, horsepower electric locomotives that run on rails on each side of the canal. These uh, locomotives are called mules because their forerunners, the animals, the mules were used by the Spanish in historic times to carry gold across the canal route long before the canal was built. As you can see, uh, they are much uh, smaller than the ships uh, that they guide. Uh, they are also, uh, they're coordinated uh, from a central control room. These uh, modern uh, electric powered mules uh, can uh, either ascend or descend on their tracks that change levels with the locks in the canal. Well, okay, yeah, that's uh, uh, a part of Panama. You know, there's so many things to, f to see and do down here that it's obvious I can't do it all in one travelogue. And we've come to the end of this travelogue, and I haven't even figured out about this hat, other than I did find out that, yes, it's not uh, a Panama hat. It's really made in Ecuador. Always was. It originated in Ecuador. I, I still don't know why they call it a Panama hat then. i got to find out more. And remember at the first of this uh, travelogue, I said that uh, I wanted to find out why I had heard so many people had uh, died in the building of the canal. Well, that ties in, I guess, with the history of the canal. Uh, but we've got another travelogue to make on, uh, on the history then and, uh, and maybe the operation of the canal itself. So we've got a few things uh, to do. So uh, follow me, and uh, we're going to keep uh, looking at uh, these uh, stories in Panama, including why they uh, call it a Panama hat. This is uh, I Go Travel with uh, Don Barnett. Uh, adios, amigos, for now. <laughs>